Hey, what's up guys? So I've had a lot of comments calling BS on whether I can actually take a dent out of a piece of wood with an iron um, or whether anyone can. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna record this uncut, unedited, um, and I'm actually gonna put the dent right on this edge as if we have a dent in a, a piece of material and it's cut in half. And maybe we can actually see uh, what's happening to the wood. I don't know, we'll try it. Um, so I'm just going to tilt this down to my work surface here. And I'm going to put a big dent in it, maybe <clears throat> over exaggeration of it. Okay. So very large dent right on the edge. Um, So we're gonna see if we can pull this out. Now the only editing that I may do is just add this picture in uh, to the final product, um, you know, if we're able to pull this dent out to compare it. I had a lot of people ask me what liquid I was using, it's just water. And what we're gonna do is we're going to put Our water right where our den is at okay so as you may know um, wood expands with moisture so we are actually just adding moisture to dried material um, during the kiln drying process <clears throat> for wood it basically takes most of the moisture out um, depending on what percentage they bring it down to. So we're adding it back. So when you dent wood, you're actually compressing the fibers of the wood down. So when you add water to it and then heat it, it pulls those fibers back out. So that's what we're gonna to attempt to do here, is pull the compressed fibers up. All right, so, so maybe we can get a little better view of what's going on here. I'm going to try to make this as tight as I can. This is just a shop towel, shop rag. So maybe we can actually see what's going on. It's pretty tight. Add a little bit more to the top and put the heat directly onto the dent. And you want to steam it until or heat it until the steam kind of stops. Um, and depending on how big the dent is, and this is a pretty big dent that I put in there, will depend on or will determine how many times that you have to do this to remove the dent. Uh, some small dents, you know, it may only take once. Um, big, deep dents are gonna take a couple times. Okay, looks like we're getting pretty close there. So, let's see what we end up with on our first go. That's not too bad. We still have a small piece of a dent there. So I'm gonna add a little bit more to it. And remember, we went extreme with that dent. That was a big.
So, it looks like this one is probably going to take a couple of applications of the water to pull that dent out. Because again, it was a very large dent. Now let's see what we have. Not bad. So there you go, guys. There's the proof. You can use this technique. Save you a lot of money on um, replacing wood, repairing wood. Uh, that's all you need is a handy dandy shop iron. So hope you enjoyed the little tip there. Um, if you did, like, subscribe. Um, there's a lot more to come. We'll see ya.